President Robert Mugabe unexpectedly fired Emerson Mnangagwa in what appeared to be a move to clear the way for his wife Grace to take over as president. One week later, military tanks rolled into the capital Harare. Military leaders denied rumors of a coup in a televised address, saying they were targeting criminals Sound near the president instead. Their security is guaranteed. On November 16th, sources claimed Mugabe refused to step down from his leadership roles during talks with generals. One day later, the 93-year-old president appeared at a university graduation ceremony, acting as if nothing had happened. By November 18th, tens of thousands of people took to the streets across the country to demand Mugabe's resignation and to celebrate the end of his rule. Mugabe's ruling party ZANU-PF removed him as the leader on the 19th and demanded he step down as president by the next day. The party also expelled his wife from their ranks and named ousted VP Manangagwa as their new party chief. On November 21st, the country's parliament speaker read a letter from Mugabe saying that he was resigning immediately and voluntarily in an effort to ensure a smooth transfer of power. Monangagwa emerged from hiding on the 22nd and returned to Zimbabwe to announce a new and unfolding democracy. The day after, a ruling party official says the party assured Mugabe would not be prosecuted if he stepped down. On November 24th, reports say Munangagwa is to be sworn in as Zimbabwe's president.